you guys. My name is Lily and this is my first year dorm room here at McMaster University. Let me show you around. In the main layout of the room, it's a double bedroom, so two people live here. My roommate will show you her side of the room, but she's recording right now. Hi, Maya! <laughs> so our bedroom came with two beds with mattresses and then two desks and two chairs. Here's my side. The bed comes with a mattress, but I do have a bed topper on it, which is from Walmart, which is a really good price, so I totally recommend it. It's so comfortable. Then here are my pillows. They're kind of from an assortment of different places. I don't really know. As for decorations, I have this, this poster from Amazon. I did have a hanging shelf, but it unfortunately did fall. It lasted for a lot longer than I thought it would, so that's okay. And then I have these vines that I hung on the ceiling, which I'm really proud of. Then I have this hang on the wall from Ikea. Totally recommend it because it's super cute and I just put a bunch of pictures and memories on it, which I totally love. Some of these things are from Welcome Week and just from fun little things I've done over this first year. Under my bed for storage, I have these two boxes. Again, I'm not really sure where they're from, but they're totally great because they have handles and then you just unzip them like that. And then there's also a zipper on the front too and then a name tag which is also super needed when you're moving in just so the people who are helping you move in know what room you are and who you are then i just have my shoes and extra storage it's great that the bed comes a little bit lifted i know some people have beds with drawers underneath which is also good but my bed is just higher so i can fit my storage underneath here i just have my shower bag so i just bring that with me to the washroom in my dorm we have single user washrooms which are totally amazing love it <laughs> then i have my laundry basket <laughs> and then a bag full of bags because who doesn't need bags and a vacuum literally no one on my floor has a vacuum so everyone asked to use mine so i totally recommend bringing a vacuum to your dorm next on the other side of the room is my desk it's really nice like i said it did come with the room so on the top here is just a shelf i mean you could put anything on it i decided to put more decorative stuff i have this hanger which is from Home sense, I think. It's super cute. You can hang jewelry. I have a lot of scrunchies, as you can tell. <laughs> I have like crystals in it. Here is an alarm clock, Polaroid camera, all of my perfumes, this little glass container which holds all my hair elastics, this plant, a diffuser which I never use, and I don't think you're allowed to use in the dorm anyways, so it's just a decoration. <laughs> and it's sitting on this wooden circle, which is also from Home Sense. On my desk, I have a more decorative stuff. I have a little stuffed animal marauder because make my stem marauders. <laughs> my desk actually comes with a little light underneath here that you can just turn on and off from like motion sensor, which is also super cool. I'm pretty sure everyone's desk here at McMaster has one, so technically you don't really need to bring a desk lamp. Here's a picture of my roommate and I. This is the day we moved in, and my mom printed it off and framed it for us, so I just have it sitting here. <laughs> Beside my desk is our mini fridge that my roommate and I share. On the top we have a fan. This fan was in the room for us, which is super nice. We do have a lot more fans in here because it gets so hot and in this specific dorm room we don't have air conditioning. Then printer which Maya brought. Thank you Maya. And then this is also Maya's. It's one of those starlight projectors, which is super pretty. It's Maya's fan. Beside my desk I have this little rolling cart which I really like too because it kind of serves as like a bedside table and since it's three tiers you can really organize it well and now I'll let Maya show you her side of the room. Hi guys, I'm Maya, I'm Lily's roommate. Well, this is my side of the room. I am obsessed with stuffed animals and that's why there's so many. I went to Warner's Brothers set in England and I got that poster from there because I'm totally obsessed with Harry Potter Hence, I cut out these paper bags and made them as posters. So well. cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, I believe in dream catchers. And my favorite color is purple, as you can see. Lots of purple. <laughs> as you can see. <laughs> um, I decided to copy Lily a little bit with the vines. And here are some pictures of my family. Let's just talk about my desk. I also decided to make it more decorative. This I got as a kid. Letter M, Maya, totally. <laughs> I'm obsessed with coffee, so I had to include that. Basically, on my desk, I'm also really interested in a lot of stationary supplies. I like to keep things on my desk really organized, and I'm really glad that these desks were the way that they are, just because it has a lot of storage space. So if I was to show you like 
the drawers. Well, I have a lot of space to put like papers. We have two semesters, so all my old books from first semester that I didn't have time to just like go put back at my at my house in Brampton, I put under here and I stored them here, which is really great. So there's a little bit of a gap I had beside my desk. I have this. If I could plug, plug my brush in here, I could plug my curling iron in here. I could plug all my chargers for my phone, my Mac. Yeah, I'm not sure how many outlets are in here, but they're yeah. definitely needed. I have one too, and that's like, and we have three. Yeah, and, <laughs> and we use like everything. I have a similar thing that Lily did. My medications up in the first drawer, I have like hair clips, and I have like, again, hair products, like different things I need throughout my day in here that's just very easily accessible. Anything like charging my phone, I can just put up on here, and it's movable it's under my bed. I know Lily mentioned how spacious underneath is. So what I decided to do is I got to put food, snacks, filled with food. Um, and then I have like cutlery and, and paper plates and stuff in this other bin. I also keep my laundry underneath my bed. I keep all my cleaning supplies, extra Ziploc bags and all of that under my bed. And I have this humongous fan that you definitely need in September. <laughs> Lily and I got really lucky because we have windows here and one actually right up there. It's a skylight, I think it's called. Yeah, it's really cool because we're on the top floor of our building. A lot of natural light in here. Yeah, it's a really nice view <laughs> just of the other residence building, but you can also see a lot of the sky and sometimes you can see the sun set, which is really nice, which gives a lot of light. <laughs> <laughs> Next, we'll show you our closet space. There's this huge built-in closet in the wall that both of us share. This side is mine. It comes with two shelves on the top. I have a bag, a hat, my Snuggie. Instead of hanging all my clothes, I have these hanging shelves from Ikea. I feel like I could fit a lot more in here than if I were to just hang everything. So totally recommend them. And moving it is super easy because it just folds down flat. These hangers, which I normally put sweaters on. There's a drawer on the bottom where I keep my pajamas. And that's basically it for my closet. In the middle, Maya and I kind of share. So on the top here, honestly, it's just random stuff. And then Maya's clothes. The top drawers are Maya's and the bottom four drawers are mine. And we just keep our clothes in there. This bow is from Lily <laughs> that she made for me. What I did, just like she said, for more space, I got this extension rod. It basically provides you with a second rod. This was able to fit much more clothes in my closet. To go to the bottom, I just keep my shoes, my running shoes. And then there's also another storage space on the side here, which has these little rods that pull out where you can hang pants, which honestly is super cool. And at the top, I just keep my laundry supplies. We also forgot to mention, but the room did come with two other mirrors. This mirror, and then there's another mirror over here on Maya's side. Great for golden hour. <laughs> so that's the end of my first year dorm tour. I'm gonna miss living here so much. I'm gonna miss Maya. I'm gonna miss you too. <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, and if you have any more questions about first year, dorm room living, McMaster, university, anything, please comment down below because I would love to answer your questions. I really enjoyed making this video, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye!